about to get ready to go on break. Es excuse me, can you help me find something? Oh, oh I'm sorry, I, I, I'm actually on break right now. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Justin, help the customer. I'm, I'm on break. I don't care if you're on a hiatus. Help the customer now. But I'm on break. You gonna give me another break? Well, I'm gonna give your check a break if you don't help that customer. Why don't you help the customer? Because I told you. Well, I'm telling you, I'm on break. I help the customer a quarter past whenever the hell you leave me alone. If you don't help the customer, you're fired. Go ahead and fire me. I'll find me a new job while I'm on break. Welcome to episode number five. This is episode number five. I have new sketches and skits, and I really appreciate you being here. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. But let's get started with the first video. With the first video, we as humans like to help people. At least we like to say we like to help. You know, when your friend is down and out and you be like, hey, if you need anything, just, just let me know. We're, we're just saying that to be nice. We don't expect them to, to, uh, to really want our help. But what if they did ask for it? If you haven't experienced it, check out this video. Man, dang. Yo, yo, is everything all right? Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Looks like you're going through something right now. I mean, if you need anything, uh, just let me know, bro. I got you. Well, um, I mean, my car broke down and I got to be somewhere. Can, can I borrow your car? <laughs> borrow my car? <sighs> I mean, I did say anything. All right, here. Uh, just bring it back by five, cause I, I, I gotta go to work. Oh, oh, I, I have it back by then, don't worry. Where the heck is this dude with my car, man? I gotta call off work. Hello? Yeah, 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 hello? Yeah, this is Justin. Yeah, I won't be able to come in, uh, yeah, my, my car is stolen. God damn it, that's messed up. Yeah, it's, it's messed up, but, um, yeah, hopefully they find it soon. I don't care about your car, because somebody just stole your job. Cause you're oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, man, god damn! Is everything all right, dog? Yeah, everything's fine, dog. You you show? Sure? Anything you need, I, I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. I mean, well, um, I mean, I, I did just spill milk all over my shirt. I got a job interview. Can I borrow your shirt? <laughs> my shirt? I mean, uh, oh well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can't go to an interview looking like that, man. You need a, you need a job, so I got you, bro. Oh, thanks, dog. I, I I make sure to have it to you right after the meeting. What's her name? There ain't no girl. Oh, you think I'm I stupid. just let my friend borrow my shirt. He just hasn't so, given it back so, yet. So, so who be out here giving out shirts? I, I do, because he spilled milk on his. Oh, so this raggedy bitch out here leaking breast milk? In a minute, you say you're going to give her your vitamin D? Get out of my... <laughs> Damn. Yo, is everything okay? Yeah, man. Yeah, everything's just great. Are you sure? It doesn't sound like it. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Uh, well, if you need anything, just let me know. Well, I, I mean, I mean, since, since you say that, I mean, I, I, dog, I just lost my job and my rent is due. I was hoping I could borrow a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? I mean, I did say anything. I got you. Don't worry. Really? Hell no, man. Get your unemployed ass away from me. I don't got a thousand dollars to give away. You better go kiss your landlord's left booty cheek. Damn, I'm about to live in the cardboard box. Address about to be 1816 Park Bench Boulevard. Get the hell away. No! I hope you enjoyed that last video. But with this next video, have you ever eavesdropped? I mean, when you eavesdropped and you ain't know what the heck they were talking about? Well, if you haven't, here, check out this video. Yo, this black one way bigger. Way bigger than that white one. Aw, uh, they about the same size. Well, the black was heavier. Whatever, dog. But can I play with it, though? Sure, you can play with it all night. Just know I'm going to tear that ass up. All right, we'll see. But the white one's a little funky. You sure? Yeah, I'll make the white one work. I'll just rub these together. And uh, we be... Oh, man. Juice is coming out, bro. Oh, oh, I got it all over my hands. What the heck are y'all doing in my house? We, we about to play the game. What, what you talking about? Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I thought y'all was in here. <laughs> now, 
Now with this next video, okay, I see a lot of things going on on my timeline about this abortion thing. And I'm in this category of just mind your damn business. I say that because people go through a lot of personal issues or they go through a lot of personal things that I wouldn't even begin to, under to understand, especially when it comes to the woman's body. I don't know anything about that. And you can ask my wife. But there were 20 men, granted they were white old men, that decided to regulate a, a issue that concerned the woman's body. Whether it was good or bad, I thought, what if one of those men needed the thing that they were voting against? And this is how I came up with this video. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Jebediah? Justin, I told you, you can call me Hank. You don't gotta call me Mr. Jebediah no more. You can call me Hank, I respect you. Man, my bad, Hank, I'm sorry, man. I'm just occupied right now. I'm trying to wrap my head around these new abortion laws. How do you feel about them? Well, I'm pro-life. I'm pro-life. I'm always believing life. And uh, so they need to stop killing these babies. I, I totally agree. I, I agree. I, I agree that it's horrible. But I feel like there are certain situations where people actually need them. Like they can have the choice, at least have the choice to decide if they need it or not. There's no situation where abortion is needed. Life is precious. Okay? Life is precious. Well, well, what if a brother rapes his sister and there's some type of disease or mutation where the baby is born with four eyes and a, a nose on his stomach and he's smelling in his belly button lint all day? What about then? They're going to have a new brother or sister. That's what's going to happen. But, but Hank, you're going to call me sir now because I don't like all these questions. Well, sir, what if that same woman is so traumatized by what happened to her and with the law, she has to carry that baby out into birth that she commits suicide. Now, that's two lives lost. Well, that just doesn't happen, all right? I mean, and, and, I mean, if it did, uh, we, would, we would just create a law that states if you commit suicide, you do life in jail, okay? That's what we can do. But, but that doesn't make any... But nothing. I'm pro-life. Life is precious. I believe in that, and I believe it to the day I die. Life is precious. Everything living deserves to live. You will not change my mind about it, all right? Now, you need to step up out here and get out of my presence right now, Justin. Get out. Get out now. Breaking news. Another oh, unarmed man. black man was killed and shot by the police. He deserved it. Ah, should have complied. Comply! The president has issued an executive decision where Mexicans are being ripped from their families. Parents are being sent back to Mexico while their babies are being left behind. Well, good riddance. Get them out of here. Now, we need to figure out how to get them babies out, too. Oh, hey, Daddy. Oh, isn't it my daughter, Becky Jebediah? Oh, my Lord. How's life, sweetums? Oh, Daddy, I'm pregnant. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, man. Who, 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 who's the father? Oh, his name is Jamal. Jamal? Oh, you gonna see him, Jamal? Uh-oh, uh-oh, you gonna have no beige babies up in here? Uh-uh, I'm calling him right now, calling the doctor. Oh, hello, doctor? Yeah, we gonna take it out. Uh-uh, I don't care if it got a heartbeat, right? Uh-uh, we getting it out of here right now. All right, that's my show. I really appreciate you being here. And if you like what you saw, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. And then hit that little bell so you can be notified whenever I, I release a video. But as always, I got those bloopers and outtakes waiting for you. And again, before you leave, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Peace. <laughs> this shit is rolling. <laughs> shit. Ain't no girl. I just let a friend borrow my shirt. There ain't no... There ain't no girl. There, there ain't no girl. I just give. <laughs> I can't get this. Oh, a hood rat calling. Damn, it's goddamn hot in here. Y'all probably can't see it, but I'm sweating. Y'all see that? See that wetness? I'm about to do this cold freestyle right quick. Uh. Woohoo! That was fire, man. I didn't even have to record it. Are you serious? Making this video while I'm sick. I got a little tickle in my throat. Ew. Feel like Michael Jordan in the playoffs. <coughs> there ain't no girl. I just let a friend borrow my shirt. Cause he's... <laughs> there ain't no girl. There ain't no girl. I...
There ain't no girl. I just let a friend borrow my shirt because <laughs> Damn, I could get this out. There ain't no girl. There... <laughs> if you smell la 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 la, what the black? Oh, I don't think I'm burning something. Oh man, I can't sneeze. And that's a wrap.